Hello. Um, I can hear the music here. This is, if you guys can hear me, give me a thumbs up. Good morning. Welcome to Gearing Up. This is the podcast where we talk about every day carry stuff. I'm not used to seeing myself. This is weird. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to try something a little different. Uh, I am hitting the uhs really early this morning. <laughs> but <laughs> no, so I, I I normally do an episode in the morning and I thought, let's let's just record it. I don't know if this is going to work. I don't know if this is something I'm going to do every single time I do an episode in the mornings, but uh, I thought this would be fun, you know, just to, uh, just to chat. What's up, man? How are you? Uh, mm. This needs to be warmer. Yeah, I'll, I'll suffer through. Um, so for those that are listening, uh, I am still recording. This is normal. This will go up on the normal podcast feed as well, but I am also doing this on Instagram live at gearing up podcast. So you can go back and check out the video and see my ugly mug if you'd like to, if not, I completely understand insane for recording this early. Why do you think like, I, like I look presentable, like I got up with the intention of, um, not looking like a hot mess. Uh, it is what it is, you know, but kids are out of the house, wife's at work. I'm at work technically. I mean, I'm this I'm working. Uh actually, I don't have to be at work for two more minutes, but I've actually been working for about the last half hour, so I figured I've earned myself uh 15-20 minutes. But uh yeah, so I, I wanted to jump on and I I had a few different topics in mind for today and I normally do you know, these solo episodes on Monday and I thought let's number one, let's try this live and we'll see how this goes. And, uh, you know, we can make it a little bit of a Q and a, uh, and if you guys have questions or thoughts kind of right, uh, during the recording, that would be great. Um, and if not listen along and if you jump off, Hey, just know that you can always come back and, uh, there's something that's so crazy to see you go live. Hey man, that's awesome. Um, yeah, so I like I said, I I hope you guys can hear me. This mic is feeding into my computer, not into my phone. Um, I'm not that technologically advanced to do. I don't know if I can do Instagram live through my computer with like a webcam. Maybe I can try. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I wanted to I wanted to see about doing a recorded one. So, anyways, I'm talking. <laughs> I'm I'm switching between like talking like I'm on the podcast and then talking to you guys. So. Uh, apologies for that if you're listening to this and confused as hell about why I am, you know, talking this way or that way. Um, but thanks to everybody that jumped on. And if you guys want to continue watching, great. If not, like I said, this will be on the podcast feed later uh, today, you know, hopefully before noon central time here. Um, but I, I wanted to talk about this topic of inspiration. And I think that's what I titled this live video. And that's probably what this episode will be. Uh, about, I, you know, I, I have an episode that I've been working on about trends in the community. And I think I've done one before, or at least I've done one similar. And, you know, I, 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 I pride myself on trying to stay uh, up to date or in the know with what's going on. I'm not always the best at it. But, uh, you know, I've, I've started to notice a lot of trends and I was talking to some folks and uh, I posted some questions and I didn't actually share any of those responses because I was kind of individually responding back. So if you answered my question, and I didn't respond to you. Don't take offense to that. That wasn't the point of the uh, the exercise. But yeah, I, I, I had this idea. I, I didn't have this idea. Let me let me clarify. Like this idea kind of came about as a discussion amongst a group of friends regarding what I'm seeing in the community and what, what we're seeing, uh, you know, as creators in the community and, you know, and it, 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 I, I guess in preparation for this, as I was kind of like, and I, I have my notebook right here. That's, that's what you guys see me messing with. Um, I was taking notes and I was talking through this, this point and I, 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 I think one of the things I was worried about was I think it's going to be difficult to talk about this and not sound like an asshole. And I think uh, the same is true with the trends in the community. And that's why I put a hold on that one. And I think I can, I think I can get through this one a little easier 
all that to be said, I, I really wanted to talk about this idea of inspiration versus plagiarism and um, just straight copycat. And, and we're seeing a lot of that in the community. And that's, that's something that I think, um, I, I think there's some reasons behind it. And I don't think that it's, uh, I'm not just going to, I don't have a list of names and I'm not just going to like call, oh, this guy copied the, that's not what it, th- this is about. This is really about sort of this, uh, in the last couple of episodes, I, I've mentioned this idea of sort of a new class, um, a, a, a new class of photographers and everyday carry enthusiasts and all of that that have that have really started to show up and I think with that new wave of people uh, I don't understand I don't know what this means um, I think with this new wave of people um, that are coming in we're seeing number one we're seeing a lot of just insane talent um, there's like uh, Vincent and I think it's Vincent that's like 16. It makes me just want to crawl under a rock um, because he's just so good at what he does. Um, but there's just been this wave of really prominent creators making a shot or making a post and taking that and sharing it and it you know gaining some traction, getting shared on stories like crazy. And then over the next week, sometimes the same day, there is a shot that is composed exactly the same, uh, framed exactly the same, lighting, all that stuff is so similar. And so the discussion became, you know, is this inspiration or is this just clout chasing and and copying an idea because, oh, hey, that worked for so-and-so, let me give it a shot. And um, kind of where do you draw the line, uh, I think was was – one of the, you know, topics in my head was like, well, where, where is the line? What's the difference? How do you, how do you uh, differentiate an account that is clout chasing? I, don't, I hate that term because it sounds so Zoomer, but which I think Zoomer is also very Zoomer. But uh, how do you, how do you differentiate, you know, these, these folks that are sort of piggybacking off of a wave um versus genuine creators that are really trying to draw inspiration and sometimes might uh, still sort of infringe on this idea of pulling or copying or whatever. And, you know, the easiest one to draw, and this is not the only one by any stretch of the imagination, but the easiest one uh, that I think is is Pete's Pirate Life. And and by extension, and, you know, and I, I don't know if Sam appreciates the... Uh, I don't know what the right word is, but I don't know if he appreciates the association. Um, but but again, by association, Raven the Pirate and and some of the shots that that they've been doing, um, you know, and 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 again, a, a great example. Sam posted the picture of the dice rolling, and then Pete shot and uploaded a video where it was literally just, "Hey, I wanted to recreate this, so I reached out to Sam." And it was, in my opinion, just a huge shout out video. Like not only did he recreate the photo, but he really, he walked through his discussion with Sam and, you know, how he, he navigated, you know, recreating the shot and working together with Sam. And, uh, that to me was, you know, when I saw that video, I thought, okay, well, this is just a straight, like he is really giving him a shout out and, and he's, he's. It, it it was really a video of, of Sam's great shot and Peter just recreated it. And so um, I feel like, and I, I feel like I'm rambling at this point, but I, I promise I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I am, but isn't that the point? Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think there is a difference between something like that where you've got, you know, a big creator being lifted up by a bigger creator and complete transparency and complete, you know, com- just a shout out, like a huge, and it, it's funny, Sam and I were recording his episode when that um, video went up. And in the time, in the hour that we spoke, he gained a thousand followers, like it just, it just shot up. So I know, um, I know that there was a correlation and I know that Pete drove his point home 
by, you know, mentioning Sam, shouting him out, linking him in his bio, all that stuff. Um, anyways, all of that to say, um, that's not what is happening a hundred percent of the time. So, and and I'm going to start going through my notes here so that I don't get off on tangents, but again, just this idea of, are we, are we taking inspiration? Are we drawing inspiration or are we just copying because this seems like the cool thing, um, that's going to get us more likes, more follows, more attention, um, to our account, which look at the end of the day to say, uh, there's so many people, especially those that have, you know, 10,000 followers that will say, well, I'm not in it for the likes or I'm not, I don't, I don't care about followers, but then we'll post in their story about, man, Instagram's algorithm sucks. I, I keep losing, I can't get followers, whatever. To say that you don't care about those things, I think is untrue, um, at least to an extent. It, it may be different extremes for different people, but, you know, at the end of the day, I think we all want folks to see the work that we put out there. That's why we put it out there. Um, but I think there's a right and a wrong way to, to go about it. Um, and all, again, all of that coming back around to this idea of inspiration versus just straight plagiarism and, and, and just copying. And I think one of the things that at least early on for some of these accounts that they're trying to do is find their voice. And this was a topic that, that came up over and over in, in, you know, chatting about this topic with different friends was this idea that, um, you're going to, especially when you're new, you are going to have a period where you're not quite sure where your lane is. Hell, I've been at this for a couple of years and I'm just now finding out what mine is. Um, and, and really trying to expand on that. But in that time, are you not in that time of discovery? Are you not to some extent, um, still working through things and, uh, pulling inspiration. And, 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 you know, there have been a lot of times where, uh, the podcast, perfect example, like I, a lot of this is modeled after some of the folks that I look up to and that I admire and that I, you know, I just want to see, well, they can do it. Let me see if I can do it. And and I want to recreate now. I'm not, obviously I'm not using the same music. I'm not, uh, uploading the same days. I'm not, I'm trying to think of like comparisons for, for this, but uh, I'm, I'm running, I'm running out of ideas, but, uh, I think there is that acceptable period where you're trying to find your voice and, and, and really trying to find your identity. Um, and, and there are going to be times where recreating things or redoing things, um, is, is totally fine. I think it's fine. And I think that it's, it's expected. And, and, you know, I, in any art form, there is going to be an, an overlap. Um, and, and you can only, of course I say this and then I'm proven wrong every day by folks like Sam, but like, you can only take so many different shots of, uh, a knife or of, uh, uh, you know, a bead or, or whatever it, it is. You can only do that so many different times before you start. Oh my God, there's, trust me, this table right here that, that you guys are sitting, I think, yeah, you can see it a little bit. This has been the background for a lot of shots. It's just beautiful wood. And I can't, you know, I can't, uh, for those that are listening, I'm sorry, you can't see, but it is my desk that I sit at, but it's, it's, uh, ebony stained, I don't know, pine or something, I don't know, whatever this is. It's nothing fancy, but, uh, you're going to have some overlap at, at some point or another. And, and that's really hard to, to avoid. But again, at the end of the day, if it's, if it's done right and it's done tastefully, uh, sorry if you're listening on the podcast. I just hit the mic. I'm I'm I don't normally have a pop filter, but I noticed some of my last episodes, so I put it on there, and I hit the arm for it. Sorry, sorry, don't hate me. Um, <laughs> but let's let's jump back into um, what we're. I think the point that this so this group of friends that I was talking to, a lot of them made the point or one or two of them, I don't know, I don't remember. Um, but they made the point that there's a, this wave of people coming over from folks like Peter McKinnon um, that uh, are not used to the everyday carry community. And so um, they're bringing over these this insane skill set. And I, I made the joke of, 
uh, I sent a pic- had a, like a deck of cards and some Folgers coffee and uh, a knife. And I was like, is this EDC? Like, you know, is that, that, that was kind of the joke. And um, that's just what we're seeing so much of. And I think obviously Peter has a huge role in that. And this is not to knock him or his style. This is, this is okay, well, he did that, and now we're seeing it in a bunch of other places, and, and shots are being recreated. Um, again, at where do you draw the line in um, inspiration and, and really uh, being able to say, well, okay, I, 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 I wanted to recreate Pete's shot versus Pete's shot inspired me versus here's an exact copy of what Pete shot but I'm not going to give him any kind of credit or anything like that. And, and that, um, that I think is where the line gets crossed. And, and I think one of the biggest issues, and, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, uh, feel free to jump in, feel free. If you're just joining, um, I want you guys, I'm doing, I'm recording, but I'm also recording and I want you guys to feel like you can jump in and chat. Um, if you have any input on the topic, but I, I think one of the problems that I think doesn't get talked about enough, or maybe maybe I'm crazy, or maybe people just won't admit it, but I, I think there is this intimidation uh, for being original. Like People are intimidated by the idea of trying something different, trying something new, and, and it not... And it's not even so much about, well, I'm intimidated because I don't want to get laughed at, or it's not going to work. Um, I... I think I think the bigger point is I'm going to put my time and effort into this and then it's not going to resonate or it's not um it's it's not going to do well it's not going to perform um and so if it ain't broke don't fix it let's just keep doing the same old same old and that is that sucks like if that's really the case that to me is is so much worse like uh, this idea of we can't try anything listen I've tried new things I'm not the most adventurous person per- person it's still early. I'm not the most uh, creative art wise. Like that's why, for me, like my my passion of advertising and media and digital media had absolutely nothing to do with the creative. It's 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 all planning and strategic because I'm not I'm not an artsy person. Um, I get lucky sometimes. Really, I mean, if we're being honest. Um, it's hard to many to be original if you copy your. So EDC and me says it's hard to uh, to many to be original if you copy or be inspired. Um, just give her him or her the credit, and I agree a hundred percent. I think I think uh, one of the the things that I follow in the media when it comes up is um, music lawsuits. So when the first one that comes to mind to me is uh, Ed Sheeran and the song by he did there was a song with I think TLC maybe um where there was kind of like a a riff in his song that sounded kind of like this and then they ended up getting writer's credit and I I think about that there's 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 so much that you see or or take in that you just see at a glance or you like it and you you double tap it and you move on and then it's just kind of tucked back in your brain and you draw from, I mean, collectively, you draw from all of that stuff. So it's really hard to avoid it. Um, so it is hard uh, to, to credit 100% of the time, 100% accurately. Um, and I don't think that that's really the issue that we're seeing. I think the issue we're seeing is really just, I mean, uh, you know, and I'm, not, again, not going to call anybody out, but I, I think there was a shot recently that I saw that was like frame for <laughs> frame for frame, because it was one frame. But you know, shot, uh, side by side, I I compared them and they were identical, like framing, uh, 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 the elements, even, even some of the, it was sort of a flat lay and even some of the, the, the stuff in the picture, it was like the same, it was like the same and then the same spots. And to me, that's, you're taking away again from, um, you're, 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 (laughs) that's not the same as, uh, oh, I was inspired. That, that's very different. Um, that is just a blatant copy. And, and and so I guess if you guys are going to take in, I mean, we're hitting close to the 20 minute mark. I've been rambling like crazy. But it, if you guys are going to take anything from this, find your inspiration and, and, and 
you know, number one, credit it if you can, but but don't be intimidated to be original. Don't be intimidated intimidated to uh, do what you can to find your voice because that um, folks like Sam, like you know, and he mentioned it in our in our episode where he talked about yeah, you know, people will give me crap for having a shitty knife, but um, that's not what it's about. And um, I told I sorry, I was reading comments and. <laughs> Um, Sam has his own style and I've never seen anybody do what Sam does with a $20 knife. It doesn't, the knife doesn't matter. The, the, the point is the art and, and the point is what he's doing with it. And, and I say, I've never seen anybody do it. Well, have, but it was kind of after he did it. And that, and this is not a video about Sam and, and, and coming to Sam's, uh, defense. Cause he doesn't need me to back him up, but it's hard to be original. Okay, okay, we already read that. Similar, similar situation. I had an idea for shot based on Moody's. I tagged him, thank him, and tagged him in the post, giving him credit. Yeah, I mean, and again, that's that's not. I'm not saying that's wrong, and I'm not saying that. Listen, I I have I've done it myself where I post a shot and I'm like, man, this really reminds me of so and so, or man, this is uh, Donnie, uh, 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 houndstooth zombie. Uh, on Instagram, like I love his shots and, and a lot of them are really simple. They're not super intricate, but they've just got a a certain style. And I I posted a shot one day and I was like, man, I had a caption and I was like, nah, this is straight Donnie vibes. So I had to change it because I I knew in my head, like, this is what this makes me think of. And I didn't want anyone else to, um, to, to think that I was again, just ripping them off. Not that I could even come close, uh, and, and that, that's another point I, as I was kind of going through my notes, like it, it's almost, this sounds mean, but bear with me, right? Um, it's almost insulting to think that like I can recreate a shot and have people think, oh, well, someone says, there's, there's somebody's going to think this is a shot that Pete's pirate life took. Like that's insulting to Pete. Like, come on. Um, you, you've got to be, you, you're better than that. Um, to, to, to not know uh, or to assume that someone's going to mistake your work like that, that the idea of that is just crazy to me. So, oh man, I don't know. I, again, I normally cut these off about 20 minutes. I think I'm, I'm at an end of my rant, but really the, the point of all of this was there's a lot going on in the community with regards to certain styles, moody shots are in dark and low lit and coffee and brass and pirates and i mean there's so and and again i got a whole video i got a a video i don't do videos maybe i do now but i got a whole episode where i've got just notes on notes of this is the trend we're seeing or 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 this is the group of trends i should say um and that'll come out soon but i i really uh uh, Hang on, hang on. I got a great comment. I want to. I'm moving back my outro music so I don't run into it because it'll throw me off. Do you think trends can actually kill your creativity? I do think a lot of people rather follow a trend. Yeah, that's a great point. And so the 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 last uh, note that I have here is it's not inspiration if it's just a copy. Um, and and so yeah, I think to your point. That yes, I, I think that trends can kill some creativity if you're if you're really trying to chase uh, what's popular and what's going on. Oh man, Ed, all these shots of coins are so in. Not to knock on coins because I have a whole collection, um, but let me shoot a coin sitting in some coffee beans. Like I've seen that shot fifty times in the last two days. Right, um, not to knock on you guys that are doing them. Some of those shots are just bangers, but. Point being, if that's what you're doing and that's what you're chasing, but you're not, you're not really happy with it. Um, you, you're just trying to get the likes and the clout, like I mentioned earlier. Then yeah, I mean you're not. Uh, yeah, I think I think it, not just killing your creativity. I think it can kill your passion. I think it can really drain you of why we're doing this in the first place. Like why why am I spending my time and effort posting shots? when I'm just piggybacking off of someone else's ideas or, or vibes or success or whatever. Um, yeah, I, I, I absolutely, I think that's an amazing point. Um, I think it, 
it, it not only kills your creativity, I think that it kind of squashes the passion and, and makes it a lot less fun. I think it makes it a lot less about creating, sharing, and engaging, and more about just, hey, how many likes can I get? So anyways, I for what it's worth, <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Um, but before I close up, my, my outro music's about to hit. You guys won't hear it. Uh, got to go great conference calling coming. Hey, thank you so much for jumping on listening. Um, again, if you were only able to catch part of this, I'm uploading this to the regular podcast feed as well. This will be saved on IGTV. If, if I'm not over my limit, I think you go up to like 30 minutes or something. Um, but if you guys like this, leave a comment, let me know. And, and maybe we'll do this again next Monday. Uh, this was actually a lot of fun for me. I think it was nice to have some, some input as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for joining. If you're not already, be sure you go to the link in my bio and subscribe. Um, I'm going to turn this down so that the outro music doesn't distract me. (laughs) Be sure you go to the link in my bio and subscribe, leave us a rating, leave us a review and we'll, we'll, we'll talk soon. All right. Peace. And we're out. Look, I didn't really end this recording. Shh. I just, I just ended the the podcast recording. Oh man. Whew. My ears are kind of hot, uh, after having these cheap, I need better headphones. Those are the cheapest over the ear headphones I could find on Amazon. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are just jumping on, there's still a couple folks on. Thank you. This was a lot of fun. I'm going to have to do this again. And, uh, hopefully, hopefully I say, let me hang on before I, before I get off here, let me save this. Cause I'm, I'm going to, accidentally quit something on accident. Oops, I hit save, not save as. This is episode 79. Holy crap, guys. Can you believe it? 79 episodes. Wow. That blows me away. Anyways, thank you guys for jumping on. This is my notebook, by the way. Hashtag obsessed with artwork. Uh, thank you guys for jumping on. I'm going to end this as well and get this uploaded to the main feed. Um, but we'll have to do this again. This was a lot of fun. I I really appreciated the input and the, uh, the comments and all of that stuff. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Uh, remember to credit people if they inspire you and this makes my eyes look really yellow. These are blue light blocking Oh, wow. It makes my face look weird. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I feel like my eyes look really yellow because there's no blue light here. I'd love to see this again. really like to participate more. Yeah, thank you. Um, again, huge shout out to anybody that stuck around and stayed on and listened. Um, maybe I'll do this uh, in the evening or something. I don't know. Maybe if folks aren't on their way to work. It's 820 for me, so it's it's early. Uh, you'll hit that 100. Hey, pff, man. I'm... I'm uh, I'm working at it. A hundred episodes is going to happen. That's, that was my goal when I set out. If you go listen to like OG episodes, like first 10 uh, or 15, I, I mentioned it and I've mentioned it again since, but a hundred episodes has been my goal. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for jumping on. We'll talk very soon. Uh, stay safe. Have a good day. Wash your hands. Uh, thanks. Bye.